Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to study the teen numbers. The numbers that end in the word teen. You've heard some of them, I'm sure. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, right? And then there's two others that are kind of difficult too, and those are 11 and 12. Because they don't really... They don't say how much they are, such as, you know, 72 tells you it's 7, 10, and 2. But 11 and 12, they don't. So, all those difficult numbers are right after 10. We have 1, 10, and then the next number, 1, 10, and 1, 1, would be 11. And we write it as 1 and 1, like that. And then the next one, 12. 12 is 1, 10, and 2 ones, and that is 1, 2. 1, 10, and 2 ones. And then we come to the teen numbers. 1, 10, and 3 ones is 13. We write it as 1, 3. The next one is 14, 1, 4. And then the next one is 15, 1, 5. 1, 10, 5. And then comes 16, and then 17. Then 18, then 19, that's all our T numbers, and then the next one is 20, two tens, 20. Okay, then we would have 21, 22, 23, and so on. Let's look at those T numbers again. 13 means 1, 10, and 3. Think of this T in here as 10. It comes from the word 10. So this 13 is actually 10 and 3. 14 is actually 10 and 4. And this is 10 and 5, 10 and 6, 10 and 7, 10 and 8, 10 and 9, and then two tens, so 20. Okay, let's say those difficult ones one more time. Try to say them with me. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now let's practice here a little bit. 10 plus how many more makes 14? Okay, 14 means 1, 10, and 4. So we have 1, 10, so we add 4. 10 and 4 is 14. Now 20 plus how many makes 25? Well, that's pretty easy. 25, it tells you there's 20 and 5. So 20 and 5 makes 25. How about 10 and 1? What number is that? I can write it like this. 1, 10 and 1. How do we call it? 11, yes. 10 and how many more makes 17? Or 1, 10 and 7. 10 and how many more makes 1, 10 and 7? Well, it's the 7, of course. But we say 17 instead of saying 10 and 7. And here, how many plus 5 makes 1, 10 and 5? And this is 15. 1, 10, and 5 is 15. It is 10 here. And then 40 plus 2. Just say that without the plus. 42. Right, 42. Here I have a 100 chart. And it took me a while to draw. So let's look at it now carefully. It starts with number 1 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. It ends in 100, so there's actually 100 squares on it, or 100 numbers. And our difficult numbers that we're studying today are here in red. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Remember, 14 means 1, 10, and 4. Okay. Here, for example, is a number, 45. It means 4 tens and 5. Over here, 7 tens and 7, 77. Now, let me point to a few numbers and you try to say them. Can you tell the name of the number that I point to? This one. It's 3 tens and 9, 39. This one. 80, 8 tens, yes. This one. 31, yep. This one. 26, and then one more. Let's take... That one. It's one of our T numbers. It's 1, 10, and 8. It's 18. Okay, good job. 
Now we're gonna find some special numbers here. First of all, the whole tens. Remember whole tens? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Where are they on the chart? They are in a special place. Over here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. They are in a column of their own. T numbers. Well, we already found them from 13 to 19 here. And then 11 and 12 are the other two kind of difficult numbers as far as their names. The 40s. That means anything that starts with 40-something, 40 42, 47, you know, those type of numbers. Where are they? Well, there's 41, 42, 43. All of those are the 40s. They are, is, they are here in a row. What's that, Matthew? Ah, find also the 90s. The 90s are here. 91, 92, 93, and so on. All of these are 90-something, except 100, okay? They are also in their own row. Numbers ending in 5. Okay, that means that the last digit is 5. For example, this one, 25, ends in 5. They are here. All of these numbers end in 5. 5 and 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95. Numbers ending in 8. I'm going to let Matthew find them. But can you first? Numbers that end in 8. Matthew, show them now, okay? Good job, Matthew. That's where the numbers are that end in 8. You can make a game with 100 chart, and that is that you just tell your friend or teacher to find a number, such as, Matthew, go find 65. There it is, right. And then you take turns finding numbers on the chart. Okay, we are all done with this lesson.